Greetings from my clinic. The topic I have taken up today is a common question asked. Does smoking and alcohol consumption affect the eye? Just like any other part of the body that can be adversely affected by overconsumption of liquor or by over smoking, I also can be affected. There are several ways I can be affected by smoking. One, several studies tell us that chronic or high smokers tend to develop cataract much earlier than others. Two, it's a condition which is very typically known as alcohol or tobacco amblyopia, where this excessive consumption of tobacco, either in the form of smoking or in the form of tobacco chewing, can lead to weakening of the optic nerve. And this weakening, unfortunately, is permanent and may not be reversible. This can lead to slow, insidious reduction in vision, the reduction in color contrast, sensitivity, and it can be a permanent affair. Most often, chronic smokers and chronic alcohol abusers are also people who take poor nutrition. All of this combined together can affect the health of the eye enormously. One, they can go in for dry eye because the lacrimal secretions can reduce and the lids can, lid glands can dysfunction and they can go in for severe dry eye. Two, these persons can be predisposed to early cataracts. Three, they can go in for tobacco or alcohol amblyopia where the optic nerve gets to be weakened and it is permanently the vision can be very profoundly lost or reduced from Four, as we talked about ARMD in an earlier episode, ARMD is known as age-related macular degeneration or macular degeneration. This condition is very greatly aggravated by the habit of smoking and alcohol consumption. So please keep in mind that alcohol and smoking can affect the eye right from the front of the eye, from dry eye right up to the retina, which is ARMD. So please keep this in mind the next time you light up a cigarette or take a glass of liquor.